City Board of Alderman, I want to present this key to the city of Lexington, Tennessee. Thank you for coming. Well, we thank you very much. It's an honor to receive it. Thank you very much. In the city of Lexington, where I have played many times and also been booked, like I said, by Mr. Lynn Pratt. And me and Mr. Pratt are real good friends, and it's always a pleasure to come back anywhere to Tennessee. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, it's a pleasure for me to join you this evening. Uh, I'm going to thank Mayor Dyer for, uh, for coming as well tonight. I want to thank Larry Meggs for uh, requesting this resolution to honor uh, a legend that is not the right word. I don't know. Uh, they should go far beyond uh, that description. I want to read this resolution. It's adopted by the Tennessee House of Representatives this past week uh, in Nashville. It's a resolution to honor the singular career and musical participation of Ace Cannon, the godfather of sax, whereas the art of creating music has long been an important part of humanity, serving as a voice for those traits that make us truly human preserving our history, forging bridges between diverse cultures. And whereas it is fitting for this General Assembly to honor those musicians whose artistry has garnered them thousands of accolades and millions of fans. Whereas a, mu a musician whose records have consistently appeared on billboards and cash boxes charts, saxophone, first so ace cannon, is renowned worldwide for his classically executed quality and musicianship. 
Now I'm going to skip down uh, a, a little ways here, and uh, it's just unreal uh, all the honors and awards you've received, and you just keep on keeping on. Whereas during the 1990s, Ace County recorded two immensely popular albums for WIRL Records entitled Music for Lovers and Sweet Dreams, respectively, during that decade. That decade. I haven't been drinking, believe it or not. I haven't been <laughs> I need one. <laughs> uh, during that decade, he also overdubbed uh, terrific, his terrific horn and some record tracks for the late, great Ivory Joe Hunter. Whereas in 1997, Scotty Moore and J.D. Fontana, two members of Elvis Presley's original band, recorded an album entitled All the King's Men, which featured songs by various artists, including Keith Richards, Ron Wood, Jeff Beck, Steve Earle, Ronnie McDowell, the Bill Black Combo. From among these, 11 songs performed by virtual who's who in uh, popular music, the Bill Black Combo, number featuring Ace Kim was nominated for a Grammy Award. And whereas during the past 10 years, Ace Kim has recorded and co-produced five albums for RMD Music Inc. <coughs> and whereas Mr. Cannon has deservedly uh, been inducted into the Smithsonian Rock and Soul Hall of Fame, the International Rockabilly Hall of Fame, and the Memphis Music Hall of Fame. He has also been nominated for induction into the Mississippi Musicians Hall of Fame. Whereas artists of Mr. Cannon's caliber do not often walk among us, and this body wishes to pay tribute to this extraordinary musician, entertainer, and human being, and now therefore be it resolved by the House of Representatives of the 105th General Assembly of the State of Tennessee that we hereby honor the ample Ace Cannon, the godfather of sax, on a long and varied career that is truly unparalleled in artistry and achievement. We commend the gifted saxophonist for his continuing to make a great music and entertain a legion of loyal fans and wish him much continued success in his future endeavors signed by the Speaker of the House of Representatives and myself. Thank you very much. Steve. Thank, you so much. Thank you very much, Steve. Uh, Jeff, this was a great honor. Thank you very much. Thank you. And right now we'll continue on with the show. <laughs> And that's something else, 60 years, better than 60 years. Let's give Ace and Steve and, and Bobby a big hand one more time. Yeah. If Jeff